Within this lesson, we'll work with dividing using tape diagrams. Manny tracked the amount of food he ate from Monday to Friday. He ate 16.3 pounds of food. On Monday, he ate 3.2 pounds, and on Tuesday, he ate 2.9 pounds. He ate an equal amount on the other three days. How much did he eat on those days? It will help us to focus our thoughts on what's being asked. And then so what is being asked is how much he ended up eating on those other days. That's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So Manny ate blank pounds of food on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So what we will do is we will start with a tape diagram. We really have to think about that total amount of food, and let's think about what's important here. Total amount of food for the th three weeks. There, 16.3 pounds. So we'll start with that there. Sixteen point three. And that's the total amount. And this is the food for the week. And that's the food over the full week, 16.3 pounds. And we know that on Monday, it was 3.2 pounds. Monday, which was 3.2 pounds, and for Tuesday, 2.9. Tuesday, just a little bit smaller than Monday, and Tuesday's amount was 2.9. Now for the remainder of the week, that's Wednesday through Friday. That's what's in that bar model right there. It says that it's an equal amount on the other three days. So the remainder of the bar diagram, we can go ahead and divide that into three equal parts. And then so this amount here is what I have there is that's the food that is eaten over the three days Wednesday through Friday's food and we know that that total is, if we put it together with the 3.2 and the 2.9, equals that 16.3. So our question mark is any one of those Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday amounts. So looking at our numbers here, we have this total here of 16.3 pounds of food. And then we're going to go ahead and start by taking these amounts here that he ate on Monday and Tuesday and subtracting that from the 16.3. So let's do this first and combine the total amount of food that he ate on Monday and Tuesday. 
3.2 plus 2.9 equaling 6.1 pounds of food for Monday through Friday. And then we will subtract that from the 16.3 to get 10.2 pounds of food that he ate from Mon Wednesday through Friday. As you see from the diagram, all we need to do then is to take 10.2, which is the amount of food that he ate from Wednesday to Friday, and divide it by 3 because it's, he had an equal amount each of those days. 3 get, cannot go into 1. 3 does go into 10, 3 whole times. 3 times 3 is 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. And we bring down the 2. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 minus 12 is 0. Make sure I place my decimal point there. So that's 3.4 pounds on each of Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And so that we make sure that we write that back down at the bottom there, where Manny ate 3.4 pounds of food on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Diane and her three friends buy snacks for a picnic. They buy chips for $2.88 cookies for $3.79, and fruit for $6.41. They share the cost equally. How much does each pay? Let's use a tape diagram. We have some items that they end up buying, and then so they buy chips for $2.88, and we have cookies for $3.79, And we have fruit for $6.41. So this one here is fruit. Cookies. And chips. So the chips were $2.88. The cookies were $3.79. And finally the fruit was $6.41. Do you see what we do with those three numbers there? What do we do first? Make a bar for that total amount. We'll end up adding together for that total amount of that $2.88 so that we can figure out how much they spend all together. Making sure to line up the dollars and cents. So this is the total amount that they ended up spending on the snacks, which is the chips, the cookies, and the fruit. And it says they share the cost equally. And who's sharing those costs equally? It's Diane and her three friends. Very common thing is to divide by three, but it's actually there are four people who are paying Diane and her three friends. So we will divide this into um, four parts, that total amount, which I'm figuring out into four parts. So a quarter of the total each, and this is our question mark of what it is that each of them pays. Really should have written out my focus question already. My focus answer that is each pays so much, okay? So let's do this in the total amount first. 8 plus 9 is 17, plus 1 is 18, 8 regroup a 1. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 7 is 16, plus 4 is 20, 0, regroup a 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7, plus 6 is 13. So the total amount they spend on snacks is $13.08. And yet that's the total amount here. So I still have to take at this point, I have to take that $13.08, and I have to divide by 4. So I'll take that $13.08 and divide by 4. 4 goes into 13 three whole times, because 3 times 4 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1, bring down the 0. 10 divided by 4 is 2, because 2 times 4 is 8, and 10 minus 8 is 
2. And I bring down the 8. 28 divided by 4 is 7 because 7 times 4 is 28 and 28 minus 28 is 0. And be careful, that's dollars and cents, that's why we're dividing by 4. So each of them pays $3.27. Here's one final problem. A table and five chairs weighs 178.6 pounds. If a chair weighs 18.6 pounds, how much does the table weigh? So let's start with the tape diagram. We'll start with the total amount. And so we are given the total amount. And then so this total amount is the weight altogether. That weight altogether. Of not only the table, but also the five chairs. And that weight altogether is given to us at 178.6 pounds. Now that weight is of the table and five chairs. Chair weighs 18.6 pounds. So one chair, abbreviated CH, weighs 18.6. And yet I have... How many chairs? Five chairs for sure. And then so, each of those chairs also weighs that 18.6 pounds. So I've got five chairs. Right. So what do I do with the 18.6 and five to get the total weight for all of those chairs? I could add it together five times or I could just multiply by five. Now this remaining amount is actually the table, I'll abbreviate with the TA, and that. So we're working with this table, really should have wrote in my focus question already, it says how much does the table weigh? The table weighs blank pounds. So let's start with that figuring out of how much all of those chairs weigh all together. Remember, there's five of them, each of them weighing 18.6. So 5 times 6 is 30, 0 regroup of 3. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 3 is 43. 3 regroup of 4. And 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9. We had 18.6, so this is 93. And this is the total amount of weight for all of those chairs put together. Now to figure out this amount here then, and that was my question mark for my table, I had to take the 178.6 and do what with the 93? Right, subtract. Make sure to line up your places as you're subtracting. And rewrite it as 93.0. 6 minus 0 is 6. 8 minus 3 is 5. Um, 17 minus 9 is 8. 85.6. Didn't quite draw it exactly right there. However, um, because 85.6 is cl so close to 93, it would be about half and half. That's 85.6 pounds for the table. Thinking about whether or not this is reasonable, let's see. First off, we have 85.6, which is about 85 for the um, table. If that's 85 for the table, I had about 180 for um, the chairs and the table altogether. 180 minus 80 already is 100, minus another 5 is 95. 95 over 5 chairs is about 20 per chair. So my answer sounds like it's reasonable. So that's how it is that you can end up using a tape diagram to really think out a problem, especially those that include decimals.